Okay, the Bay Area Panthers are that bad, but we'll talk about them in a moment. Um, welcome. This week in indoor football has a lot of things happening as usual. Some of them I didn't expect. Some of them I did. Let's start with the CIF first because Champions Bowl number 7 will be a rematch of last season's title game, the Omaha Beef and the Salina Liberty. It's going to be a thriller. It's going to be a barn burner. Salina beat up on Billings, Omaha in a thriller against Sioux City in which it came down to the last 10 or so seconds again between these two teams. So, number one seed, Sioux City Falls. The number three seed, Billings Falls. So it'll be number four, Omaha. And number two, Salina in the championship. And Omaha looking for their second straight title. They're looking for this they're looking for a back to back, a repeat. So we'll see if they can do it next Saturday night. In the IFL, a couple teams have clinched playoff spots. Frisco clinched a playoff spot against Iowa, beating them up sixty to like thirty or whatever. They put up sixty points, you know, TJ Edwards and company put up sixty points. Arizona on the other hand, they must have clinched via a technicality or some kind, the strike the victory type thing, because the it was explicitly stated in the game against the Naz Wranglers last week that that game was for a playoff spot. Now, because the rest of the Western Conference is pretty bad for the most part, or middling at best, you know, you got teams like Vegas, and that that's, that's one of the teams that was used for that strike the victory type deal, so that's probably why Arizona is in. Um, it is what it is. Arizona was going to clutch a playoff spot regardless. You know, it, it they, they beat up on Duke City tonight, so I mean, it is what it is. There is uh, there is also Bay Area. Um, again, you know, Bay Area is getting whipped by San Diego right now. They are eliminated. They've been eliminated already from playoff contention, so. It's it's rough, um, and then you have you know the rumors of Tulsa, the rumors of you know Omaha, potentially the beef. I assume, you know, good old friend over at the Arena Fan Love FB, putting out the putting out strutting out the rumors. So you know, I kind of we, we I kind of touched on this last week, you know, but I, I think you know that I think I think there's something here. Tulsa it seems you know Tulsa it seems. Uh, for what Love FB was saying, you know, was CIF, you know, aspirations at first, but, you know, now they have, it seems like, you know, something could materialize. You know, there's always, you know, different things, but we will see what the IFL actually says in the near future because, I again, I do think there's going to be, there's going to be some teams on the chop, on the chopping block this year. I think there's going to be a couple teams as usual. In the IFL on the shopping block, and I think Bay Area and San Diego, all those two teams, you know, two teams that are playing right now. There's one more game going on right now at, at, at the time of this recording, but we'll talk about that in a moment. You know, we'll talk about that last, actually. The other thing is U.S. Integrity has partnered up with the IFL to get regulated wagering, I assume. This is like, you know, betting and stuff like that. Uh, I don't particularly care for this at all. Who cares? Uh, gamble responsibly if that's your thing. You know, I thought it was about you know like player wages, but I guess not. Whatever, I don't care. The NAL, on the other hand, has had a bad week with officiating. Um, you know, Carolina Albany, you know, ended with a officiating error in which there was literally you know less than a second on the clock. There was less than a second on the clock. At least, you know. You know, like 0 0.2 seconds to a second left of the clock, and they just let it go to zeros. It's inexcusable. You know, San Antonio Orlando, a play took way too long to set up. There was video issues as well in this game. You know, like the video was blurry for like, you know, for however long it was. And of course, you know, Columbus's uh, video production ain't, ain't nothing to write home about. A fan got punched in that game as well, you know, so uh, that that 
that's not a good look. That's another team, you know. That I believe it was. I, I believe it was somebody on Jacksonville that punched the Dutch to do. It was either. It was either, you know, a, a, like a wide receiver for Jacksonville or Columbus that punched somebody. It was either a fan or a security personnel or whatever during that game. Whoever that was, I hope they get, you know, suspended for a game. You know, you know, there's a lot of people who are. You know, but the real the real issue is the ref ball. It has been absolutely rough this year. Um, now 2020, you know 2021, you know I I'm about to say 2021 first. 2021, you know I, I can kind of excuse it because you know you know it is what it is. You know teams not played in over a year and stuff like that, but. This season, the refs have gotten out of hand. NAL games should not be taking three plus hours. They should not be taking three plus hours, guys. This is inexcusable. I'm not here for a three hour plus game. I'm not here for an NFL game. I'm here for the NAL. I'm not here for the National Football League. I'm here for the National Arena League. I'm here for, you know, two hours, two and a half. Two hours and 45 minutes of good arena excitement. And that is not happening. These games have been going, you know, way over three hours, you know, at this point. You know, some games have even gone four hours. And that's just not cool. You know? We, we, we got to speed the pace of playoffs. Something's got to give here, you know? The playoffs are taking shape as well, you know? So... Like, there's only a few weeks left in the season, so, you know, something's got to give as well in the NAL. You know, teams are fighting, you know, San Antonio's one two straight, Orlando, Jacksonville, you know, kind of in a weird spot. You know, Carolina, Columbus, they're in good positions right now. Albany's in a weird place, too, and it is what it is. Now let's go down to the lower level leagues, the splitters, you know, the first off, the splitter leagues. Let's talk about them. Oh my goodness, my goodness. The Mississippi Raiders will be taking on the Tampa Bay Cyclones in the AIFA championship game. Here's the problem with that. Tampa Bay has only played one game against Mississippi. We're, we're, and this game is going to be on July 9th, you know, like a lot of championship games. A lot of championship games are going to be on July 9th. You know, remember the Palmetto Colts and Georgia Lee, the Lions, their championship game, you know, again, the only two teams in the Federated Arena League are going to play in a championship game on July 9th. The AWFC's championship will be on July 9th. That, that other game going on right now between Idaho and Oregon. Oregon is not going to get the 41-point differential. It's going to be Wenatchee and Idaho in the AWFC playoff. Let, let's just get that out the way right now. Winner will take on Tri-City on July 9th. Get, let's just get that out the way right now. But going back to the AIFA here. Tampa Bay Cyclones have played a single game. Where are the Carolina Predators at? They played three games. St. Charles never played. Las Vegas played two games. One of them was against Idaho. Yeah, FA has been an absolute disaster. And there is an appropriate meme in the 50-yard shit posting Discord for it. You know, for the AFA, for the AFA, and for the APFL. So, oh boy, we, we gotta get we we gotta get back to the AFA real quick. Oh, you 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 thought you thought you th you thought last week was bad. You thought you you thought you thought you know things have gotten real bad. You know, in, in the AFA. No, 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 no. Which time West Texas couldn't even play. West Texas had some unforeseen circumstance. Into which you know they could travel up the Wichita. Rio Grande Valley is dead. You know Magnolia is not saying anything, and you know I don't know what in the world the playoff is going to be like. I don't even know if they're going to play on that. Um, there, 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 there's no way they're going to play on the USS Lexington or whatever it was called. You know that little ship thing. You know the AFA was you know touting up as you know you know something big. No, 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 no. Somebody's playing at at their home arena for a championship. 
sometime in July because, you know, the AFA has been a disaster. I mean, really, there's only three teams left in this league. You know, Wichita, West Texas, and Magnolia State. They're the only three teams left in this league. So, like, what's what's gonna happen? You know, you know, you know. It's it's been a, it's been a rough season to try and determine a champion for some of these leagues. You know, but you know the three teams that are left, basically, you know, because the Texas Jets ain't doing nothing. I guarantee you that. You know, they can recruit players all they want to, but they haven't played a game in over a month. So. AFA has been a disaster. The AIFA has been an absolute disaster. Again, maybe the AAL guys were right. That's not even the worst part, though. The APFL, the Arena Professional Football, you know, the Arena Professional Football League, you know, the league started by the Charlotte Thunder, you know, that league, the league where the fees are only $6,000 to get a team in the league, you know. Not a, not, not a hundred thousand like say the NAL or the IFL, you know, not 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 you know not up at that threshold because I know I think the IFLs is a little higher than the NALs. I think I'm not sure. Uh, no 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 no, just just six thousand to you know put your team in. What did Charlotte think was gonna happen? Keep in mind, Charlotte, you know is the team that runs this league. They're the team that runs this league like the West Texas Warbirds run the AFA. And like Mississippi is basically running the AIFA, basically. What did you think was going to happen when West Michigan declined a championship game? Now, y'all can say, now, you know, Charlotte's coach, Urban Bryson, he was like, you know, yada, yada, yada. West Michigan declined to play us, and you know they didn't want to play us. They were being disrespectful, and yada yada yada, you know. And I, I, and I can't find anything on this at all. Like, who knows what the actual beef is? Because I don't see it on any social media. They say they say it's on social media, but I don't see it. I don't see it because you know, West Michigan said we're do- we're done on July, f- oh, not July fourth, June the fourth. They said they were done two weeks ago. They said their season was done two weeks ago, you know, after they beat up on the Carolina Predators, of course. So, what what did you think was going to happen with the league with only two teams in it? You know, you can't be lower level like, you know, like the FAL and just be like, oh yeah, we're going to play a championship on July 9th, even though we've only played like two or three times against each other. Keep in mind, Charlotte was scheduled to play West Michigan, you know, either twice at, at one point or four times at one point and then Charlotte had to manipulate their schedule you know they had the they changed their schedule like 17 times throughout the season and then you, you, you got and then you got Charlotte's head coach whining and crying about you know oh well the, the you know you know, we we might beat West Michigan yo up. We might beat them up or whatever. No, 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 no you, you guys, along with the AFA, along with the AFA, you guys destroyed a league. Even though it was a bad league, you created three worse leagues. Three leagues that are even worse to follow throughout the season. You played a bunch of scrubs. You played a bunch of tier three scrubs. You are a tier three team. You play tier three teams, you know, teetering on tier four, honestly, because I don't, I don't, I don't know what tier four is, but I'll tell you one thing, you know, I'll tell you one thing. Playing scrubs ain't gonna get you nothing. There's not, you know, too many legit, there's not too many legit teams out there, you know. You wanna go west? Can't go west, because it'd be the best league, you know, the best tier three league out there is the AWSC. Who's got? Who's mostly gotten it together? You know, 
you know, things, you know, didn't play it out the way they wanted it to this year, but they got it together to where they could at least, you know, play a full season, have a championship, and everything under the sun. Charlotte, if you want, you know, if you want better competition, you need to step up that money. <laughs> it's, it's very simple. You need to step up that money. You know, drawing flies, and I get it, you know, the, the, I did read an article somewhere, you know, where, you know, like West Michigan was like, oh, well, we draw like three times the fan Charlotte does. And that is absolutely true. That's, that's no disrespect to Charlotte. Charlotte draws flies to their games. Flies. They, we're talking, we're talking, you know, Mercy Health Arena up in there in Muskegon is, is always, you know, a little bit more packed. Three times as much packed. As say Bojangles Coliseum out in Charlotte. And again, you know, the APFL, you know, they said they, they, said they wanted to be a professional. You let the Jersey Ballers in, you know, a team that just completely crashed and burned. You let Reading in, who crashed and burned, you know, and didn't even want to play anymore, you know, because, you know, Reading is really, you know, they 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 were a team that just beat up on scrubs, you know. Same thing as Charlotte right now, beating up on scrubs. So, you know, you you let in a bunch of teams that did not that did not fit the schematics, you know. Remember Carolina was supposed to be in this league, they said, nah, we go into the AIFA. You know, there, there were other teams from the AIFA that were supposed to be in the APFL. They were like, no, nah, we're going to start, we're, we're doing our own thing. You know, remember, we're doing our own thing. And, you know, they, things got crossed, wires got crossed, people got confused. You know, I got confused. Everybody got confused because the APFL wanted to, you know, puff themselves up. You know, Charlotte really wanted to puff themselves up. So I don't blame West Michigan at all for not wanting to play this game. Because there's just no point in playing. There's no point in playing, you know, an arrogant team. There's no point in playing a team that's so arrogant. I mean, the co I mean, you know, you know, I watch I watch uh, one of the inside the arena dudes interview the dude. You know, and he, he was just crying. You know, about winning by 42 points against George Alina. You know, come on now, stop it. Stop this nonsense. Get out of here with that. You gotta be kidding me, bro. If you want, if Charlotte wants to get to another elite next year, I guarantee you, you know, I guarantee you they're gonna have to put up that money. They're gonna have to put up some sponsors, you know. You know, actually use your Twitter, you know, because that Twitter ain't been used. Use your Instagram a little bit more, you know. You, you, use something. Use TikTok. I know the San Antonio Gunslingers are using TikTok. Come on. Do something. Do something. You, know, you, you got legit people, you know, running this team, so why aren't you legit? You know, you got Thomas Davis, Joe, Joe Moss, you know, who's, you know, a big businessman. Thomas Davis, a former professional football player. Y'all want to be legit? Be legit. You gotta prove it to be legit, though. You gotta prove it. If you can't prove it, you know, if you can cry and whine against a bunch of scrubs, then it ain't gonna work out so well in the big leagues, you know. So, all right. All right. We can. We, we, I, I hope I hope the APFL folds. I hope Charlotte, you know, you know, learns their lesson and folds this league, you know, after the season's over. I hope they learn their lesson and fold this league after the season's over because this was a terrible idea from the jump. I hope the AFA also folds. I hope the AIFA folds too. All three of you, you all three of you, better fold. The teams that are legit, y'all better find some new homes. Y'all better pony up some money, find, you know. A better league, or alternatively, start a league. You know, with with the, with the teams that can actually, you know, that actually want to play and actually want to throw it down. You know, that's what all I gotta say. I'll see you next Sunday.
to wrap up, you know, the next week of the door football. Good night.